That's just because of the stuff I want to do. Is that another one dead? If I remember correctly, there's a secret area over here. Quote unquote secret area. Kill. Another. Is that all of them? Are they all dead? Am I good? Can I get this stuff now? Ooh, those are expensive. Okay, uh, there we go. You've got a melee attack, not a melee weapon, though. Uh, we can get rid of that. So that's my melee attack. They've all got different melee attacks, but they're pretty much the same. Mordecai uses a knife. Roland uses a dagger. Brick uses a lead pole, and yeah. That said, though, Brick does Brick's special ability lets him punch things in the face. So I guess you can't totally. I miss that. Before I do anything else, let's level up this gun. <laughs> Apparently, melee killing uh, the thing counted as a melee. Watchman kills it. Yep, give me a second. Okay. Just had to look at something. But it is all good. Now then. More blade flowers. You know, now I'll keep playing even after this bit. Up until a certain point, and then I'll say when it's like here. And then there we go, that's that quest done. I'm gonna be so over leveled on the main quests. 80. Ooh. That's a blue. That is a blue. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so... Did you know that by aiming your crossers at an enemy, your HUD can display your target's level, health, and chill streak? The higher level an enemy, the more dangerous they will be. If you see a skull, you better get out of there fast. 
Unless they're using modded weapons, in which case you're pathetic and you should not be playing this game. Now I'm serious. You guys just waltzing in with your insta-kill weapons just really pisses me off. Oh, but why if you don't why if you, we don't want to struggle? Well then fucking don't play the game then. Or if you don't want to struggle, don't go on to the online with your modded guns. It's not cool, guys. Come on. Uh no you can't. You've only got a single single and melee weapon. You can enhance it! Or at least with some of them you can. Let's see, I got a sniper for that. And I got... Okay, I actually like this weapon. TK's Wave. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this a bit. Ride the wave, dude! I mean, it's not all that good. As you can see, I think it looks cool. Go to the end. And I leveled up again. So there we go, now I can get the one which I want there. But it's like, for example, Brick has got an ability, I mean, should I really show it? Uh, no. Brick has got an ability where if he deals explosive damage to um, an opponent, then his special ability, his Berserk ability, which is his, um, will have its cooldown reduced, just like how with, um, it, it, it basically they've got their own, I think the easiest way is just to say that they've got their own special ability and their skills cater around those abilities in a certain play style, but of course you're not entirely limited. I mean, it's like some some characters are incredibly flexible. Like, Roland, as much as I don't like to play as him, is one of the most flexible characters in the game. Because it's like, oh, you, you can do this, you can do that, you can do basically anything with Roland, because his is mostly around, like, assault rifles and such, but... Yeah, it, it's all down to basically what you prefer. Lovely. Because, it, like um, I said, Lilith is about, you know, using elemental weapons. Like, this pistol's got a fire elemental. But here I am. I've been spending most of the time right now just been using a sniper rifle, which is more Mordecai shtick. Yeah, the game doesn't really limit you on what to play. It just kind of limits you with characters. It's like, as I said, Lilith, it's about doing stuff like this. Phase walking, and then appearing and doing damage near him. Whereas as Brick is about going berserk and being the ever-loving crap out of people, Roland's about suppressing with, um... Watch your cut. Well, the only reason why that happened was just because of the fact that I'm incredibly over-leveled for this area. But it's like, in Brick, for example, runs about punching things. That's, I'm, I'm not going to lie, that is probably the most satisfying thing. Just running around with your fist, punching the ever-loving crap out of people. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't done very well, but they improved it with Craig in Borderlands 2, which I'm happy about. But then again, they made it too powerful, and Craig is just outright broken. Um, Mordecai actually has kind of like a weird sort of form of a special ability. He throws out his pet, which is Bloodwing, which attacks and kills... Uh, a certain amount of people nearby. Yep, yeah, I missed that shot. Oh, hey, Bonehead. That's that's a guy I gotta kill. I missed. There we go, that's Bonehead dead. That is my shield down. Yep. I 
Okay, let's just get in here. And there we go. They're all dead. Eh, I'll pick this up. Why the hell not? Could really do have an elemental weapon, though. Maybe there's gonna be one in here? No, but there's money. Can't go wrong with money. Uh, nope, nothing here. And I guess we'll head back through this way. Okay, now to get to catch a ride. And I can choose all of these fancy little colors. I'm going to pick that. For no reason. Whoop. I think we're gonna just finish this little quest here. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. Oh boy. I love me some missions. Oh, this isn't the this isn't what I'm meant to. Where am I? Where is he? Yeah, there's a switch. Okay, let's head back to Zed. All right, why don't you come on back? I got something for you. And eh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I think this game's fine without destructible buildings. Also, no, I think that might be a turn off for people is how the vehicles control. It follows the way you're looking. Halo style, basically. Yeah, 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 I know some people might not like that, so it's like, yeah. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. I'm very well aware. Okay, first things first, I will return to Zed. You'll find a fella named Shep near the crossroads on the way to the mine. Sled skinned his entire family and built a tent out of them. Tough luck. But that Shep is a good kid. I'd appreciate you helping him. Well, I'm not much for compliments, but he did fine. Mostly because as well, I can now equip free weapons. So I will put my sniper rifle in there. And uh, with covered, kid. and with that, I am going to call it good for today. Didn't really get very far in the whole marathoning. I wonder if I'll even be able to get to the um, End of Borderlands 2 DLC before um, the pre-sequel comes out. Ah, well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But uh, I'm going to call it good for now. So where were we last time? Ah, uh... oh, yeah, we had the Chef Sanders thing, but of course we're going through... Uh... Let's see, quests. <laughs> Impossible. I will go for it. Uh, let's see you get a little blood on the tires. This man, Sledge, has something we need. You are going to get it from him. Sledge is a bad man who has done terrible things to the people of Firestone. Person of Firestone.
Uh, yeah, I play with a keyboard and mouse. This has got pretty decent controls for a keyboard and mouse. Now I gotta roadkill things. Because it's a quest, apparently. Of course, they have actual lines in uh, Borderlands 2 when they wrote to kill things or crash into things. Like Craig in Borderlands 2 says, Bad song and horrible award-winning motion picture! Bad song and horrible award-winning movie! And they even make he even makes a uh, Duke of Hazards reference. Looks like them puke boys are in a pack of trouble! In uh, Borderlands 2. Of course, when we get round to Borderlands 2, I am going to be spoilt for choice for, um, who I play as in that, because, uh, the thing is, Borderlands 2, there's six characters, and I've played a lot of Craig and Gage, and those are definitely my favorites. Well, Fragger, if you, um, get the Game of the Year version, because that has all the DLC for all of them. I'm not too sure if the Game of the Year version of Borderlands 2 includes, um... Includes the, uh, mini DLCs that they have. It was like, it was basically like one new area with a couple of missions. Yeah, Borderlands is, uh, quite common on the, uh... On the sales. Okay, I gotta get the journal quests. And I'm almost certain that, uh, because of the simple fact that the pre-sequel is coming out on the 17th, that it's probably going to go on sale again. You know, so the celebratory thing. Patricia Tannis, Doll Scientific Advisor, Day 1 on Planet Pandora. I have been assigned to this sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology, similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins on Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this. But my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists do not chase myths and legends. Yeah, as I say, if you're going to go ahead and buy it, uh, make sure, like... <laughs> I, I would say don't buy it unless it's the Game of the Year editions, which I think is pretty much all that they have now, Game of the Year editions, because basically um, all of the DLC, all of the uh, games have got like four big DLC packs, and the Game of the Year edition is just basically the game with all the DLC. It'll obviously save you a ton of money, because each DLC is like 10 quid. Hey, I can actually say... British pounds because England, yay! Woo! So yeah, basically, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go ahead and get it, get the Game of the Year editions for both. They should be pretty cheap now. On Pandora. At least I believe it to be the forty-third day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over ninety hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. <laughs> 